How are we going? I'm back with another brand new episode. Uh, today we're going to create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. From coming Tuesday, I'm coming up with a brand new episode called Tips Tuesday. And this is completely for motion graphic designer, video editor, and of course designers is always there. So if that's something that you're looking for, then please do subscribe to my channel. And there are lots to cover, so without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N. And again with the same thing I'm going for 4 by 5 resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And then right after that let's create a solid and let's give it a kind of darker color. And let's rename it as a background. And let's create a new layer and go to brush and for that I'm pressing B and i'm going for this graffiti brush and these brushes are so cool to create an abstract background and let's see let's go for this one and with a kind of yep let's, with a kind of darker color let's create a graffiti and let's go for another brush yeah let's go for this one and let's click on ok and after that let's create a rectangle and i'm gonna go with kind of this size let's keep it somewhere in the middle and maybe let's make it a little bigger i guess yep somewhere this size and let's change the color to kind of darker color and let's keep it under this layer and right click create clipping max so that this graffiti gonna stays over uh, this size of rectangle and let's go over in the rectangle create clipping max go to brush and let's go for another brush yeah let's go for yeah let's go for this one let's add a little rotation maybe some more yep let's go for this one and with a black color let's erase some of these edges and let's do the same thing on this side and let's add some right over here and let's make it bigger yep let's keep it like that and then uh, let's go over here and let's drag and drop uh, this player image right over here now let's move it above this layer let's release the clipping max Control t let's make it a little bigger yep somewhere around this size and let's drop down to opacity uh, for this graffiti let's make it kind of yeah i think this looks good and let's do the color adjustment for this main image so select this one go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and then let's go on basic tab let's uh, drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows and then let's increase the clarity and let's add some texture and let's go on color mixer tab and from here uh, let's change the hue to more toward the red side and let's do the same thing for orange somewhere around here let's do for yellows too yep and for the saturation let's drop down the saturation for orange a little bit and yellow a little bit too and let's increase the saturation for red and for the luminance let's increase orange and yellow a little more and i guess this is looking pretty good to me and let's click on ok And let's add another rectangle. And yep, let's keep it like that for now. Let's make a copy. Control J, Control T. Let's uh, move it somewhere around here. And let's change the color to kind of darker red, somewhere around this one or maybe more darker yep and let's make another copy ctrl j ctrl t 
let's move it on this corner and let's give it a kind of uh, similar color here. let's give it kind of this one and let's click on ok and on, again the same thing let's create a layer max for this rectangle go to brush and let's add some grunts right around here somewhere around there and let's create a layer max for this layer and go to brush and again same thing let's erase some of these parts okay let's keep it like that and then let's drag and drop this image right over here let's keep it all the way to the bottom and control T let's make it a little smaller and let's drop down the opacity and and then let's make a copy control J control T a little bigger yep and then let's create a layer max go to brush let's erase some of these extras from here and let's drag and drop another image so let's this one let's drag it right over here let's keep it right over here and let's keep it just above that uh, red rectangle create clipping max and let's change the blending more to soft light yeah let's change it to soft light and let's make a one more copy Control j and let's keep it above this uh, blue rectangle and let's create a clipping max Control t let's move it right around here and then let's add some text And let's keep it under the player image control T let's add a rotation let's make it a little bigger and let's change the font yeah let's change the font to this one control T let's move it a little up let's make it a little bigger and let's create a layer max again go to brush and let's add some grunges right around here all right and let's just to give a final touch let's add a color lookup and from here click on load and i'm going to use cine LUT. so select this one and click on load and on top of that let's add a color balance and from here let's go more to our green yep somewhere around here let's go on a little bit on science side and let's increase the blue too just like that and and for uh, this abstract background let's drop down the opacity some more yep somewhere around here and yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye